What's up guys and today I'm going to be showing you how to pull product information from a WooCommerce product using a short code. Um, so if you've been following along, um, we have been creating plugins in our plugins directory and I've currently made a new folder in my plugins directory called WC product short code and in there I've just got a PHP file called WC product short code. <clears throat> So this is the file, this is what we have. Um, I've just started a, um, a add shortcode function. So it'll add a shortcode. Uh, in this case, we're going, it'll be uh, WC product info with the attributes product. So we're just gonna have one product for now. Um, and um, I'll show you how to make, create multiple products um, in another video. Uh, so we've just got the basic function. Um, just. To start it off, short code attributes. First one I've got is product, um, and then this is the WooCommerce stuff. So I've got the product ID, which is the attribute product, um, and it's doing a new WooCommerce product, and it's going to return the information that I want about the product I uh, I I put in. Which in this case I'm going to it'll be this simple um, uh, rocket product here. So I've just got the rocket product, which is the ID of 98 I believe if you went into the back end and went to products you can have a list and it'll show all the products that you have and so I'm going to pick one that's number 98 because that's like the one product that I've got that's quite filled out so and in the page of our short code it's all we have is the WC product info product and 98 which is the product ID okay so let's head back to our page. Okay, so the first thing we would probably want to pull in is we want to pull in the title. So we obviously need the product title. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna paste in what I have already made. So here we have, I'm returning a P class called P title. You don't have to put this in. And then pro get title. So it's gonna get the product, get the product's title from uh, this new WC product. Okay, so that's the title. So if we just save that and just refresh. So now I've got the product title. Okay, that's that. That's the first one done. So it's just pro and then get title. You can receive, there are loads of classes for this. So you can actually receive it from a, a WC product class from WooCommerce. I'll put a link in the description for you. So you'll be able to find all these. And this is what we'll, we'll go through some of these. I'll go through the description and the all the categories and stuff. Okay, so back to that. So now we've got the product title. Next, we probably want the product image. And I bet we want to actually link the image to that product. So we're gonna put the permalink for that product in a link and then our surrounding our product image, sorry. So let's paste that in. Okay, so we've just got another return tag. Open our link, a uh, link tag, put in our product permalink and then get our product image in between the link. Okay, so if you just save that, do that. Now we have the product uh, product thumbnail. You can um, put in the image size here where I've got the word full. So you can put in um, shop, uh, I think it's shop dash thumbnail. No, nope, I think it's underscore. But you can put in um, the regular ones. When you're putting in, the, oh, there you go. So we're putting shop thumbnail, and that worked. You can put in medium, that worked. Let's try putting full. Full should make it pretty large, to be honest. Hopefully. No, ah, I think that, that's probably the largest size I can actually get. <clears throat> so yeah, I've just left it as full. So the next one down is the price, the sale price, and if a product is on sale. So I'll just paste that in. Okay, so as you can see, we've got the product price, Ooh. the product's regular price, right? So that'll be the price. If you've got a sale price in place, this is the price that you'll need to pull in what it was before your sale price. So we've got the regular price, and then we've got the product sale price. So if it's on sale, what's the sale price? And then, oh, let's get rid of these. And after that, I've got um, a little if statement just to say, if the product is on sale, then return a strike through the regular price and show the sale price. 
<clears throat> which is just a little a little if statement there. So I'll just, you know, just pull it out. Let's bring it out like that. Let's hide this for instance. There we go. Okay, and then I've just wrapped it in a H3 with a strike, strike. So it got regular price and then get the sale price. So if I save that and return, it now shows me my regular price, which is 299, the sale price 199, and then a little and then a strike through of the uh, regular price and the sale price next to it. So you can obviously play about with this. I, I, I'm really full. So you can put classes and you can design it. This is just the basics of how to retrieve the information you, uh, of a product with just the ID. So let's get the uh, the product permalink on its own. We'll get the product stock. No, no, we'll just get the permalink for now. Let's get the permalink. Okay, so I'll just paste in the permalink or the product's link. Okay, so we've just got a link, opened up a, a, a simple link tag, put in our permalink, and then also pull in the title again for our, uh, for our link. So we'll just save that. Go there. There we go, now I've got product six. So we've got a link to that product. Uh, we'll get the next. We'll get the product stock and its status together. Just paste that in. Oh, I've always got these damn things here. I swear to God. Okay, so now we've got the availability stock. So it's going to tell me my stock level, and then the one below it is pro is in stock. So it's going to check if it's in stock, and if so, it's going to pull. Uh, it's going to say yeah, uh, true or false. So in this case. I've just got if it is in stock, uh, return bold in stock tag, and if not, put it out of stock. So if just save that and go back. We've now got availability stock and then in stock because it is in stock. Actually, no, is it in stock? No, it's not in stock. It's it's not in stock at all. Oh, it's because I haven't got the stock management on my product on. If I turn that on, then I should be able to judge. There we go, manage stock. So I'll put in stock quantity of ten, and update. Let's go back to our short code. There we go. So it said 10, available stock is 10, and it's in stock. <clears throat> the next one down after that would be the SKU. It's weight, height, width, and length. So we're just gonna copy these. So all your product dimensions, etc., in here. Let's just recopy that actually. Let's... Okay. So we've got product SKU, product weight, product height, product width, product length, and the product dimensions all together as displayed. So if you save that, refresh. Oh, oh I put it after my return. So I need to put that down at the bottom. Okay, so now I've got the SKU, which is product one. Its weight is would be uh, one kg or one kilogram, which is the same thing. Uh, the height is 70 centimetres, the width is 60, length is 50, and then dimensions puts it all together and just puts it 50, 60, 70, 70 centimetres. So it's a bit more compressed rather than doing the individuals. <clears throat> and then after that is the uh, long and short description. So I'll just bring that in before um, my return tag. Let's get rid of the product description, long description and the product short description. Okay. The difference between these two is the fact that this one's got the word post content and this one's got the post expert or expert. I, I don't even know how to pronounce that. Um, so that's just going to pull our short description and then the one above is just going to pull our long description. Okay, so just save that and refresh. So now we've got the long description and the short description. Just to prove that that is the long and that is the short, if we go back to the product. The long description is here and the short description is just below it. Okay, and they are clearly, obviously, the one, it's both working. Okay. Finally is the product tags and the add to basket button. Now, the, obviously, the add to basket button is vital, right? But if you're going to um, be able to, obviously, you can fire it to your basket immediately. <clears throat> Top one is just the product tags. So we've got get tags. And the one below that is the... This is the add to cart button, um, it's in a form, so if I just break this down for you, you can see parts of how the form is working. So I've just got a, a hidden input uh, with the name add to cart. Its value is the product's ID, um, and then that closes off, and then you've got button type submit, and then the, the button's text is the single add to cart text, 
uh, which is would by default would just be add to basket and then end it off. So if you just save that and return, we've now got an add to basket button as well as the tags below. So this is just a basic example. You can find more on the class WC product from WooCommerce. I'll put a link in the description for you so you can have a go. Um, I will also put a copy to these files uh, with a link below as well, just in case you want just a starting point. Cheers guys for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, let me know in the comments. If you didn't, let me know in the comments as well so I can make a better video. Um, I'll be doing another video like this on next fr uh, next Saturday, um, so keep so look out for that on my channel. Thank you very much. Bye.